how's it going? Scott Wyden Kivowitz here. Um, I want to show you a really cool app that allows you to do content aware modifications just like Photoshop but at a fraction of the cost. Photoshop is 600, 700, 800 depending on if you're a student, teacher, etc. Um, or if you have a discount code <laughs> and whatnot. Um, but the uh, crew over at MacFun created an app called Snapheel, which is $20 in the Mac App Store, and there's also a, uh, I'm sorry, a 15 day free trial right from their website. So as you can see, it does a lot. Um, you can do a lot of different content aware, removing, you know, fixing up skin or removing lines, um, removing birds or anything distracting other people on the beach, etc. So uh, aside from the website being pretty neat, um, I wanted to show you, here's a before and after of uh, a new photograph I shot of a diner, a local diner. And as you can see, uh, I removed lines. Now, it was so easy in uh, Snap Heal. Not only was it easy, but for $20, that's pretty damn neat. So check this out. Uh, I am going to, um, undo everything that I've done and show you from scratch. So we can erase. Uh, you've got your brush size which is pretty cool. So you can actually adjust you know how big you want this line to be. Now I've been testing it with you know a little bit of bleed going into the sign um, and, and I haven't found any issues yet. Um, but let's just show you doing the different lines and we can zoom in and a lot of the functionality is just like Photoshop just like on one software's uh, you know masking tool and Nick's masking tool so it's very similar to what you're already used to but check this out um, so you got select deselect and pan right so you can actually go back and deselect a line you got your brush size and you've got your eraser modes wormhole the mode works best for imperfections on skin with small objects. So if you've got blemishes on a on a model skin, remove them easily. Shape shift is just you know average objects that you want to uh, erase. And twister, if you've got a sky that has clouds and you want to make sure that it looks perfect, right? That's why I use twister. So check this out. Erase. Now it's going to uh, work its magic, as you can see. And when it's done, which is pretty quick, it's going to erase those lines. And look how perfect it is. Um, you know, even over here where the thing, where the, uh, you know, the power line was running, you see a little imperfection here, but that's not bad. That's not bad whatsoever. So it's, that part works very well. Now there's another tool called Clone and Stamp also very similar to your Photoshop right so if you hit the uh, alt option key and you choose where you want the uh, cloning to start you can then go and create it somewhere else and then what's cool is you can then take the uh, go back to the erase tool and get rid of the background so if you wanted to have two signs uh, you could take the time and actually do that. So you can go back to the erase tool and select the background, let's say, and just erase it. Let it make it the sky behind it, right? So I'll show you that. Um, let's zoom in a little bit just so you can see what I mean. I'm not going to go through it that detailed, you know, but I want to. I want you to see that you can clone and then get rid of the background. So watch, get rid of the background, and look, we're back to the sky. So you can see that. You know, even with cloning, you've got a lot of uh, a lot of functionality with a $20 tool. Then you've got some retouch, so you can do uh, you know contrast, saturation, sharpness, all that kind of fun stuff. You know, lightness and darkness, right from this app. All right, so that's pretty cool. You get very easy to do. Let's go back to darkness. So you can see and how about some dark in the sky so you can see you know I'm not doing this you know perfectly but just gives you an idea that this one tool if you got some 
some uh, some content awareness that you want to try or, or or play with or or if you really have a photo that you need content aware then you don't need the big expensive Photoshop you've got a $20 tool in the Mac App Store that can do it um, plus the adjustments of course so you can adjust the overall brightness contrast the exposure of your photo right in this tool as well make a black and white photo or desaturated that's always fun You've got some cropping functionality in here. You got presets for for the proportions. You can go we can go Instagram style, make it a square. It's always fun. Your rotation, of course. So, what do I think of Snap Peel? For 20 bucks, pretty damn neat. Uh, I do expect that I'm going to be using this a lot with Content Aware when I need it, uh, or if I need retouching of uh, the face of one photo that I can't do in Lightroom, I might wind up bringing it uh, into Snapheel to do it. So I highly recommend giving it a shot. Download the 15 day free trial. And if you like it, it's only 20 bucks. So what's that? You know, 20 bucks is not terrible for uh, the power that you're getting with this app. So give it a try.